So we, I've yet to come in here, and Hope has come down here with me today. He's up that bottom one, baby. Okay. It is. It's off my boot. Oh, Look how oh big my. it is in there. That is big. <laughs> Come in there. Go in there. Okay, I don't want to It's get... fine. We'll just sweep it out. Whoa. It smells like a camp. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot bigger than, than you thought, huh? Yeah. So we'll set my um, cot up over here. And then we can put your bed over here. We need to put some tape down the middle. Because we have I got a um, pole we'll put in the middle right here. And we'll hang our lantern off of it. So last night I got it all set up. Now today we're going to be camping out here right now. What we're going to work on is getting this all set up to stay the night out here and do our first ever hot tent camping. It's about 48 degrees right now. It's supposed to drop in the 30. So it's going to be perfect weather to test out the new wood stove. And I'm going to have to get it out of the box and get it put together because I want to do a pre-burn outside, get all the oil and all that stuff burn off of it first before I bring it in here and use it. Ready to get set up? Yeah. And then when we're done, you could do a little tour. Yeah. Okay. This one you're sleeping on, yeah. Yeah. So there should be, yeah, there it is. So really all you do is plug it in. Is this on? Yeah. Hold on, go and inflate, deflate. <laughs> and it's full of this one, it? Yeah. And it over here. there, yeah. I think it goes a little more, doesn't it? No. I think it can, but it looks good. I'll just sit here for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> hold this. No, hold it. Okay, I'll show you guys something cool. Kind of a theme that we're going to start doing when we do these trips is that um, we actually been, me and Brandy, the girls, been going around to different um, antique stores mm -hmm. and looking for old camping gear. And we found a couple things that we're going to show you guys today that we're going to use. Um, anywhere we're looking for anything from like the 60s to um, the late 70s is what we're trying to theme we're going after. And we found some pretty cool stuff. Do what? This one's cool because it's Oklahoma. Yep, that's from Oklahoma. And that's going to be for crawdads or fish or anything like that um we did have plans to set crawdad traps out i don't know if we're gonna get to on this trip or not Almost but <laughs> yeah it's from oklahoma it's got oklahoma on there so we found this at a um, antique store and then we came across this um coleman carry case with an old coleman in there and um, i'm gonna set that up real quick it's been years since I, since I was a kid last time i used one of these but i bought some fuel um bought some more uh, more man i got some mantles for that so let's get this set up and test it out uh make sure it works I, we just bought this um a few weeks ago getting ready for this trip yeah but isn't it cool got this little case it doesn't work we'll be using flashlights yeah. um so we'll get this out and um we're not looking for anything brand new we're looking for used um old camping stuff that we can show you guys using here on the channel but if this doesn't work we're gonna have to get a brand new one if this doesn't work we're in trouble hold on i need that little i need that little Thank funnel right there oh. yep and then um the fuel's over there i don't know if you can reach it or not I think I, right here yep that's the fuel oh. yep just got that Pick it up. Okay. okay i go you guys can see me but if i remember correctly as a kid you unscrew the top here and you pour it in <laughs> no you pour it in over oh. here <laughs> i'm taking this off slowly i said you pour it in hold on it's been a, so long since i've done one of these Oh. There we go, just like that. Um, Looks like a hat. <laughs> maybe I can do this without taking. Oh, does the glass slide out? Gotta be careful on these. Is there glass? Mm -hmm. if you drop it. Nope. Okay, so here you go, Hope. I'll show you how to do this. This is old. This is just gonna fall apart. Look how brittle that is. Oh. Get that off there. To put new ones. Yeah. I'm gonna shake this off. Why is it so dusty? Okay. It's been so long. 
Does it? Yeah. It's been so long since I've done it. I mean, probably, it's probably been 30 years or more, 25, 30 years since I've messed with one of these old ones like this. It kind of, when you took that thing out, it kind of smelled good. It smelled really? like pot or something. So, I'll do one and then I'll let you do the other. Can you reach that from there? Yeah, okay. So, I'll do one. I'll show you how to do it and then I'm going to let you do the other one so you'll know how. Okay. So, you just get it like this. Okay. See, I'm, I'm putting the string up above this part right here. Yeah. And then you just pull it tight. Oh, that looks easy. Yeah. So I pulled it tight. Yeah. I'm going to tie it. But those off. ones were little because they've already been used. Yeah. When the green's gone, does wait that mean it's see, over? No, wait till you see. Let's light it. Okay. Because you light this. Oh. Oof, it's kind of crazy. Poof. <laughs> this was kind of hard. I need to tie it. I can tie it. You got smaller hands. Can you tie that? Yeah. And a knot? Yeah, I'm going to need to tie it tight. Okay. Hold on, let's see here. Let's go around one. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go around it like this. Grab and then like it'll that. be even more yeah, tight. Yeah, now tie that. Can you tie okay. that? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. And a knot? Yeah, just a regular knot. Kind of like you're tying your shoe, but then a right. knot's fine. My hands are kind of cold. I don't think I... You got a little bitty hand. You can get in there and do it good. Pull it tight as hard as you can. That's perfect, and I tie it one more time, and we'll be golden. <laughs> you get it? Come on, I'm trying to. It's kind of hard. Let's get that. Yeah, that was probably your age last time I messed with one of these. Perfect. Now you can do the other one by yourself. Okay. <laughs> you see how you seen how I kind of did it, but you finished yeah. it for me. You can turn this towards you if you need to. Yeah, yep. Are these the strings? Mm -hmm. Yep. Pull them a little bit. Right over the top of it. Yep, just like that. Get through there. Hey! I'll do that. You gotta be careful with okay. this. Because it's glass. Now put the lid back on. I'm gonna do this down here by the water because I got some gasoline up here from the one more. Heidi, Heidi, left it loosey. Yep. Yeah, I got gasoline up here from the for the chainsaws. Okay, here. So let me get my bag. I'll take this down so I can. Toss that back. <laughs> I think if you do it one more time, it'll work because I see it burning. Oh. All right, so here is our camp chef. Is going to be the Alpine heavy duty um, stove for inside the canvas tent. So I'm gonna bust it open real quick and pull the parts out, and then we're gonna put it together here in just a little bit. I did. Let's see what this looks like. Put that finger down. Let's get the box is already broke. Oh. everything in there that we need to put it together. Oh, it has the, the mat in there. I don't see a heating mat. The legs. I could have swore it was supposed to come with that heating mat. Okay. This is everything we need. Whoa. 
guess how deep it is. So right when you walk in here, we have a fan, this, and we have a big hot for me to sleep on. And then under here, we just have some extra stuff in here, an ice chest and my dad's cot. And we have a table to put some stuff on, like a desk. And over here is where we're gonna put the fire and stuff. And that's all. Okay, so I got, um, I gotta open this flap over here. I'm figuring this tin out. There's not much to these things. This is pretty dang cool. Hold, hold this for me for a second. Okay. Oh, we brought Lily? Yeah, we brought Lily. Hold that right here. Okay. I'm gonna show them doing this. I've watched for a, the smoke to go mm -hmm. out. I've watched a lot of videos on this, but until you get out here and do it yourself, you kind of learn stuff as you go. So this didn't come with the mat like I thought, so I got a piece of my siding from my house that will help keep the heat off of it. And I also brought a broom to sweep it out. Yes. So I'm going to have to order the heat mat for that. I think it'll be way better. But the wood will work for now. Mm -hmm. Does it go up there? Yeah, it will. I don't know if I want to go all the way up with two or just one. I think I just want to do two. Yeah. I got plenty of plenty of space for it. Hello. Hi baby. <laughs> that looks cool. Does it? I'm gonna get the front. <laughs> that that looks cool. Yep, yeah, I like that. So it's in the 40s right now, but it's gonna drop down to low 30, low 30s. So we're getting, the, we're gonna get this going. I bet at night it'll look even cooler. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get the ice chest out, get the steaks out. Hope's gonna show you guys um, seasoning the uh, steaks and we're gonna set them out to let them warm up a little bit before we cook them. I gotta get the fire pit going out there. We're gonna start dinner here in just a little bit. Outside. Okay. I'll get the steaks out first. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. That is just cool. Some big Which steaks. Which seasonings do you need? I want you. Okay, so that's the salt. So we need salt. Pepper. Oh, hold on. Pepper. And garlic salt. Which one? This? I think that one. Smell it. Tell me if it smells like garlic salt. Oh, oh it smells like. Yeah, sounds like it. That's garlic, yeah. Hold sounds on, I'll, good. I'll show you how to do it, okay? Okay. So all the seasonings we need? Then? Yeah. Okay. Want me to do, I'll do this little one, I'll do this big one first. Okay. Get it popped in out like that. I already cleaned this whole thing. Oh. Let's just rest. Okay. So since we're in this, put some in your hand. Okay. Like that. My hands are clean. <laughs> yeah. Look, and then pinch it like this. And just go over the whole steak. You may have to, it'll take quite a... How do you flip it over? Just pick it up? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Do you know how much how much should I put? Just until what you think. You I'll let you do yours and I'll do mine. How's that sound? Good. I'll let you uh We're gonna eat each other's. Some of it will cook off. Yeah. So, so I get if we accidentally put too much, I'll just Yeah. Go. With a fire. Lily's gonna be excited. Where's Lily? So there's Lily. I'll do this one side and you can do yours and then you can tenderize them a little bit and then um Flip them over and do the other side. Wow. Lily. Okay. <gasps> Lily. 
shoot all the way down there. Where? Go in the tent. Okay, just like that, babe. Okay. And then do yours, and then you can stab them. You got easy that force. Do we do each side? Yeah. So do your salt, garlic, and then first pepper. Side. Do that one first, and you can stab them both. Okay. Later. So the easy. Doesn't matter which them. order. I do salt first. This. Yep. Put a little bit. Put some in your hand, you know. Which ones are the second? It don't matter then. I always just do salt first. I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic on yours because I put too much in the other. Okay. So they both have salt on the back? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job. You can just put those steaks in the baggie yeah. and um, leave them out. Were, I, when you first told me to do the steaks, I thought you meant like the, oh, the those metal steaks. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to dig a little pit right here. And we really don't even have to dig one, but I'm going to put the wood down in there. Okay, Hopi? Okay. Let me get some wood for you. Yeah, you can get a few pieces. We'll get this going. Okay. Get it from the truck. And then we're going to get it going while we go cut some more wood. I want to sit down. That one's cool. <gasps> we got to hurry some. A this big way. worm was on there. Wow, that is cool. It's a fossil. Okay, you can show them here in a minute. Okay. Was a worm there? Something. I might have to bring that to school because we're learning about fossils. Oh, really? You can, yeah. Yeah. So you put it in the truck and you have to get it and get another one. Okay. Also, a seashell. On that same one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is a cool one. Yeah, take that to school. Yeah, I'll put it right here. I think I'd be huge. You're doing a really good job. You're right down. This one, this one's like a pumice rock. <laughs> what? Pumice. Good job. Now it looks cool. Look at it there.
Lily. Come here, Lily. Okay, I've had my eye on this tree for quite some time now. I've been wanting to cut up just for a firewood. It's an old season oak tree. Okay, Hope, we're going to start getting dinner ready. You ready? I'm yeah. hungry. Uh, so what are we cooking tonight? Mashed potatoes, corn, steak, and the dessert. And shrimp. Oh, yeah, and shrimp. Put it on the tub okay. So here's the shrimp. It's almost done, and then we're gonna make some mashed potatoes and the corn is over there. Got this little stove. Got the steaks cooking out here. Yeah, with the steaks, and then here's some lights on the outside. Some of these steaks. Look at those. Perfect. Everything almost turned into a disaster. Get, get the um, potatoes. Can I stir it? Yeah. I might have to add a little bit of water here. You can stir it. Okay. The cans are already, the corn's already ready to go. Not so hard. Like, so she's making the loaded mashed potatoes. Yep. Hold on. I don't know. Ice. Butter. Bring me that flashlight out here. Okay. I gotta get that. On this side it is. Look like food over here. They've been resting right here for about 10 minutes or so. We probably could have shared that one, Hope, but we're getting our own. Yeah. And we both like ours medium rare. Yeah, and we also got some but A1 sauce. You like A1, don't you? Yeah. Let's go over here and 
Cut into them. Yeah. I may end up cutting them. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this over. Okay. And um, cut them up, put them on this, and we're gonna let them sizzle a little bit while we get all the other sides ready. Okay. Well, they better not jump up here and eat them. <laughs> yeah, she will. Man, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Medium rare, yeah. just like we like it. Yeah, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay! Tell me how it is. Is it? It's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I want to make it, I want it to sizzle a little bit more. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly how you like it right there. Yeah. Campfire cooking, it's kind of difficult when you got like five I things going on. I can taste the smoke. Uh-huh, you smoked it pretty yeah. much. Boy, it feels tender. What are you doing, Will? It looks redder on camera. Does it really? Yeah. Let's put that on there. Put yours on there like that. It's so large, right? And we're just going to put it up on the um, stove in there and we're going to get what we want. Yay! Yep, this one's a little medium rare to rare and it's going to cook some more anyway, so. It's hard to see out here. I know. Like, look, if I look off, you can't even see anything. Ooh. Grab that butter off the tailgate, and I'll put yeah. a little bit of butter in here. And put it. I can't see. Dead. Should be in a bag right there. Put that steak in that for me and I'll cut some butter up. Huh? Put all the steak in there for me. Oh yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, Lily's gonna be eating good tonight. I know. There ain't no way we can eat all this steak. Let me cut some more of this right here. When you said Lily, she came over here. Well, that looks good. Good. Yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. Oh, one piece fell off. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. You can take it in there and sit it in the middle of the... Thing? Mm-hmm. It's good. Don't drop it. Okay. Oh! Nothing happened. <laughs> okay, we got our shrimp. Let's take it out and play it up right there. Get your fork. <laughs> Get your fork. Where's my fork? I'll go over there on the table. Okay. Hey, Will. Come on, Will. Come on, Will. Come on, Will. Lily. Check this out. Come on, Will. I'll put the shrimp right here. Put that butter up. Oh. <laughs> See how this shrimp looks. Okay. Okay. Shine the light on it. I'm gonna dump it out in here. Oh, <gasps> yum! Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I definitely didn't eat some mashed potatoes. <laughs> this can's still hot. So I literally, I'm gonna pour this right in here. Okay. Oh! That's why I hate Nox there. She likes to mix Ooh, that's hot. potatoes. I, I know. She loves corn. it. Corn. Go ahead and get some corn. Hot. I shouldn't have had done that. It's hot. It's really hot. <clears throat> Let me see. Man, this is looking good. So I'm going to let this butter melt on that steak. You uh, know, yeah, that's a medium rare to rare. So I want to cook it just a little bit more. And it probably, like she said, looks redder on camera. But man, that is going to be some good eating right there. And uh, what else was there? Was there anything else? Dessert or Dessert. Something? We'll have to make that here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
So we're gonna let this finish uh, cooking right there, and uh, we'll come back in just a minute after we plate it up. I'm so excited. Are you? Mm -hmm. What's sizzling out in it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Alright, make your plate. Okay. It's all you can eat. <laughs> until it's gone. All you can eat until it's gone. That is awesome. I'll get some more. Your sister's going to wish they were here. Yeah. Oh. Use your fork for that. Okay. Put that spoon back in there. I'll use it. Do you want some of the bottom one that's heating up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can. There. Good. Oh. That was a little aggressive. I can't. Use your finger. Yeah. What? Burn me. Mm -mm. Well, the shrimp will with that. Wow, that's a good piece. That's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Get you some shrimp, too? Yeah. They're so tiny. excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so she's excited for it. If you need salt and pepper let me know I'll get it out. Okay. I might need some for the corn because I like salt and pepper on corn. Okay. There you go. I was about to say they when the sauce is about is barely coming out but they just came out a lot. Here's this. Lee's eating her food. Oh, yes? Uh huh. See, all, all I gotta do, Hope, is just scoot this off onto the side here. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll be still good. This is awesome. Yeah. These eyes. I'll tell you what, that tent or um, that stove is working good. Okay, so Hope decided it was dessert time and we are going to make some monkey bread. She is actually prepping the butter now and we just got one of these little packs of monkey bread that you can make. Pretty simple, be easy for us to do out here while we're camping. She's cutting the butter up and she's gonna put it in our pan. Okay, so we're gonna be making the monkey bread. Hope's gonna melt the butter and then put the sauce in. We're gonna try to bake it um, up top for a few minutes and then down below because it is pretty warm down below where we got our leftovers. We'll put it right on top of there and uh, go from there. Dirty Milton. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, where's your? Give me your butter knife. It smells like good. It's <laughs> gonna eat that by itself. Oh, it looks like caramel. Mm -hmm. Is it caramel? I think it has caramel in it. That oh. just looks so good. Squeeze all that out like a toothpaste. You want me to tear it up while you're stirring it? Yeah. We're trying something different. My legs are getting hot. Okay. Okay, we got all of that. We'll stir that up and then we're going to put some foil over it. Let it cook on top of here for just a few minutes and then we put it down below to let it finish. 
Oh, when's the last time we had monkey bread? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. But we're having it tonight. We're eating like kings and queens out here tonight, ain't we? Yeah. Uh -oh. That ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's gonna be a big monkey bread. Yeah. Looks like we wrapped the burrito. Yeah. Look, it's already browning on bottom. We may leave it uncovered for a minute and then put this on and put it underneath. That's what we'll do. We'll let it cook like that for a minute. Yeah. We, I think we got enough heat down here. Yeah. We'll try it. I might bring it up a little bit. Okay. Nice and warm. Yeah. We'll be back in 15 minutes to see how it turns Okay, up. so while the dessert's cooking down below, oh, we're gonna go clean the dishes in the creek. It landed on your shoulder. I got it on my shoulder. You coming? Yeah, I'm okay. Fire is about to go out. Oh, we went up. We don't have service down here, so we went up top to call mom and your sisters. And what do we see? Like eight deer. <laughs> right there by the camper yeah. and all that, huh? Watch out for that knife. That Those knife's lights sharp. always flicker mm -hmm. at night. We'll go down right here Ooh. to the creek. Here's your rag. Okay. We're just going to get them nice and clean up for now. That way they're not all messy in there. Set those where the cutting board's at. Okay. So one side of the cut, watch out for that. One side of the cutting board. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Can you not see? I know I couldn't see. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. You're supposed to do a polar plunge. So one side we prepared the meat, then we flipped it over and cut it up on there. So that's pretty handy. It's nice having a running creek right next to the camp. I know. She, Hope was about to go face first. So this is one of the girls' favorite spots to swim during the summertime. Not right now, though. It's cold. No, not right now. I don't see any raccoons or anything tonight. Yeah, all right. It's been 15 minutes. I don't know if that's going to be hot enough down there or not. Oh, it's not ready. Let's try something different. Let's try this. Let's try that. Okay. Set timer for 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, don't ever touch the metal. Are you okay? Yeah. You touch that little ring thing. Yeah. So we'll do that. You about burned yourself. You okay? Yeah. So I'll, I'll actually set for five minutes and I'll flip it around. Yeah. I actually brought some hot gloves with me just for this occasion in case we needed them all right we'll be back okay i actually ended up cooking the monkey bread inside here for a while it took a while and um a little bit got a little charred right there but we can we can salvage this middle part for sure this was kind of a, a challenge right here to get this done right but look at that look at that oh somewhere where's it at right there that's gonna be good you want to try it first yeah right here come up here you know, blow on it so it doesn't burn your mouth. I just pulled it out. What? <laughs> Hot. It's not that bad. Oh, it looks good. Good. It's pretty good? Yeah. You want the burnt pieces? No. All right, I'm going to get a little bit myself, and that's going to be a good piece right there. Yeah, it looks hot, babe. All right, let's plate up and let it cool off. Oh. Okay, we're gonna enjoy this monkey bread, and it is the time it is. So you see that it is. So it is 9:56. I'm ready to go to bed. We're gonna eat a little bit of monkey bread, 
hit the sack and get up in the morning and um, go from there. So. Well, Hope, we survived our first hot tent camping. Did it stay hot all night or did you get cold any? I got cold. I do what? I got cold. So I could tell whenever the fire would get low, because I would start to get a little cold, then you'd be like, Dad, I'm cold. Yeah. So then I had to get up and stoke the fire. That probably happened probably three or four times last night. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get the best sleep, but did you have a good time? Yeah. You want to do it again sometime? Yeah. This is Lily. Lily, you want to do it she again sometime? She wants to stay here. <laughs> Lily, you want to stay here? It's nice and warm in here now, isn't it? Yeah. So, <coughs> we got the fire going still. But overall, this was a success. I had a great time with Hope. Hope you had a good time yeah. too. And um, we had some good dinner. The monkey bread didn't turn out like we wanted. It wasn't it was too bad. Good. It was good, huh? And we're going to go take a shower. Go take a shower and get ready for church is what we're going to yeah. do. And uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And if they're not subscribed. Please subscribe. Catch you on next video. Thanks for watching. Ah. <laughs> Actually, before we get off here, I wanted to show you guys and know something about this. So I couldn't get this to work. What I determined is that the pump, the oil pump right there, is not working correctly. So I'm gonna have to try to replace it. It does not turn at all. And so I watched a few videos on it and um, they all turn open and turn to close. This one is stuck. So it can't get pressure built up in there. And I think it'll be an easy fix just um, by replacing one for that. And I think we'll be in business. So that's why we didn't get used a night didn't get to use the 1970 Coleman, but here in the future, hopefully we will. <laughs>